kids, our next fruit of the spirit is faithfulness. And so faithfulness means to be loyal and obedient, pretty much God is faithful. That's like the main point. God is faithful and he also wants us to be faithful to him. So this paper clip right here represents God. And so we put it like this. God helps us to be faithful because on our own, we're not faithful. So I'll show on our own. On our own, we just sink to the bottom because it's really hard to be faithful. But when we lean on Jesus, so this is us and we're leaning on him. If I can get us to balance then we can be faithful oh we can be faithful and stay afloat so we need to be faithful and god is the only one who can help us to be faithful just like shadrach meshach and abednego how they stood up for what is right and stayed faithful to god what Mia Child just showed us is something we can all try at home. We will need a few paper clips and a bowl of water. With on our own, we will just sink. But when we have God's help, we can stay afloat. Give it a try. So our next fruit of the spirit is gentleness. And so some people think gentleness is being weak, but it isn't. Christ was gentle and humble, and as he was gentle and humble, he spread peace through all those he came into contact. And so that's how we need to be. So we have two balloons. Pretend that they're both filled with water, but this one is filled with water, this one isn't. But these balloons represent people. So we need to be gentle with people. So my helper will come and show if we're not gentle with people. So when you're not showing gentleness, you hurt people and they can easily break. But we need to be very gentle with people. So we're not gonna harm people, we speak gently, no violence, no nothing. We're just kind, gentle people. And so the kindness that Christ showed to everyone, even to us now, is the gentleness that we need to also show to everyone else. The last fruit of the spirit is self-control. Um, many people think that self-control only applies to anger, but it doesn't only apply to anger. So this toothpaste represents us, and inside, this represents us, inside represents the words we say. So sometimes we may say something that is hurtful, or we decided not to listen to our parents and didn't do what they told us to do, or we're supposed to do our homework, but instead we're watching TV and playing games. Um, you may have gotten angry with, I don't know, your brother and sister, if you have brothers and sisters or your parents, and you may have said some hurt, hurtful words to them. So, help her please come on up. So once we say words, let's see if we can put them back. So can you put all these hurtful words we said back into the tooth, tooth bottle? No. <laughs> so the answer is no. So once you say words or do any actions or anything, they're there out in the open. Even if you say sorry or cover your mouth and be like, oh, I didn't really mean it. You've already done the damage. So in order for us to have self-control, we need to ask the Holy Spirit and God to help us to have self-control. And when we ask him, oh Lord, help me have self-control in this situation, help me not to be mad, help me to do my homework on time, listen to my parents, then before any of the words or hurtful things come out, we already did what is right. So we won't have to try and put things back in because as you can see, it's impossible to put the toothpaste that you already put out back in. So as you guys brush your teeth, remember to exhibit self-control. So just put a little bit on your toothbrush and brush your teeth. But in this case, we don't want anything to come out. We just want to be, we want to do what is right the first time. So I remember verse is pretty much all of the fruit of the spirit. So we have love as a heart. Joy, we're doing sign language, so J, O, Y. And then we have peace. Peace. 
And we have patience, like you're waiting in line. Um, we have kindness, which is going forward. Kindness. Goodness. Goodness. Faith, 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 fullness. So you come from your, you and point to your point forehead to and make little circles like this, and then that's faith, and then fullness, okay? With your thumbs, right, okay. Faithfulness, and then we only do gentleness, and then self, self, like this, and then control. And so then, against such things, there is no law. And it's Galatians, 5, 22 to 23. So let's try this all together with the actions. You can grab your parents at home and be like, this is good for us. Let's all do it together. And um, we gotta start with the fruit of the spirit. We gotta just teach yes. that one. Oh yes. So fruit, fruit of, of the, the spirit. spirit. So you just draw circles or squiggles in the line. Squiggles in the air. Okay. So but the, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Galatians 5, verse 22 to 23. So let's start it again. One more time, Kingdom Kids. So, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Galatians 5, verse 22 to 23. So, practice it at home, Kingdom Kids. Here we go! Well, the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, 